Eamon, uh, your great ancestor, would turn in his grave. Sorry, he turned in his grave. My ancestor, the, did you, the, I he knew, would turn in his grave. I knew him. Did you know him? He would turn in did his grave. I can tell you on authority no, sorry, that he would turn you know in him? his grave. You know multiple genders. Eamon de Valera didn't put multiple genders into the constitution. And it's a disgrace that his grandson is doing that. It's a disgrace. Shame what on you. Vote, uh, what was your vote in there for the hate crime bill? What was your vote for the hate crime bill, Willie? Really? You said you were really concerned about the hate speech bill. What was your vote this evening? Why are you disgraceful deceiving the public? It's disgraceful deceiving the public. Mary Butler, how did you vote tonight in the hate crime bill? Multiple genders, is it Mary? Multiple genders. Careful there, there's traffic coming up the road there. Be careful, there's traffic coming up the road there. How many genders are there, Mary? Standing off the road, you get hit by a Can you answer me? Is it Mary? Good thing to say. Just get the paycheck, because that is. Just get the paycheck, Mary. Just get the paycheck. And this is get your daughter here. It's this. all getting well paid by the Just taxpayer. The Hundreds of thousands. It's not it, Mary. You're mute, Mary. Head midnight to your hotel bed. Yeah, on the Thank taxpayers. Thanks, paid for by the taxpayer. Multiple genders, Roderick. Are you proud of what you've done tonight? Multiple genders put into the Irish law. An anti-Christian idea. Coming to you again from outside Leinster House in Dublin. And just a few moments ago, in the Doyle chamber inside here, uh, the hate crime bill was passed with its radical and perverse new definition of gender. Just sobering really to think that these TDs are supposed to be representing us who have now cast off the law of God who have cast off the law of God so plainly recorded in scripture God made them male and female on the statute books now uh, multiple genders any other gender whatever you want we've just in fact been informed that the Archbishop uh, posted a series of tweets uh, supposedly against the bill uh, but he posted them at uh, 20 to 9 which was in fact five minutes after the vote was called in here uh, that the vision was called absolutely this extraordinary so extraordinary inexplicable this man the primate of all ireland archbishop eamon martin could not lift his voice to the nation or do do anything except tweet five minutes five after minutes the vote after was called after the vote was called i mean I, I i'm sorry to say who do these people think they're deceiving that he could not come out to the public and give a resounding no to this bill yes uh, it's absolutely alarming i can come to no other conclusion that um he agrees with this. He has agreed with the government. He has agreed with the judiciary. He agrees with the media. They're all working together. You know, we have tra travelled up to County Armagh to beg him to do so. We've come here today to alert the public mm. and to speak out about the horrors of this bill that's been passed by Justice Minister Helen McEntee. But it seems that Archbishop Eamon Martin, Archbishop, uh, uh, Primate of all Ireland couldn't open his mouth and voice a strong opinion against this uh, obscene bill, I would say tonight. Uh, it speaks for itself. You know, thank God we have the scriptures yes. where the, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ spoke clearly, the Apostle Paul spoke clearly, the Apostle Peter spoke clearly, yes. and I think it speaks yeah. for itself what has happened here with Archbishop Eamon Martin.